Sir is coming. <laughs> Silence! Why is Mr. Edu so grumpy? I heard that. Sorry. You think you're smart? Huh? huh? Would you clever than me? How do you spell crocodile? K-R-O-K-O-D-A-I-L. That's wrong. Maybe it's wrong, but you ask me how I spell it. What is the chemical formula for water, huh? H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. What are you talking about? No. Yesterday you said it's H2O. Terry! What? Give me a sentence starting with I. Uh, I is. No. Always say I am. All right. I am the ninth letter of the alphabet. <sighs> F follow me. Why are you always acting like a smartass? Aren't we supposed to be smart? Isn't that what we study for? Mr. Edu, are you okay? What, what you just said reminded me of someone. You're smarter than you know. Sit down, listen. Maybe I might be able to teach you something after all. What about the rest of the class? I'm sure they're having fun. In my first year of college, there was a guy we all used to go to for advice. A final year student. He would take payment in food, vouchers, anything else valuable to a student. In return, you were allowed to ask him five questions relating to your college experience. So, why did you decide to call it the dorm room? Um, yeah, so I called it the dorm room because before I stepped into my dorm room, I had no sense of direction in my life. I felt like it was an arrow on a compass that was just spiraling round and round in a circle. And I had no idea where it was going or who I wanted to be. But in that room, at some point, I felt that compass stop spinning. And it was slow at first, but gradually, I began to, in between those piles of clothes and unwashed dishes, I, I found myself. No, better yet, I created myself. People often say that this or that person has not yet found himself. But the self is not something one finds. It's something that you one cannot create. dream yourself into a character. You must hammer and forge yourself into one. I may not have gone where I intended to go, but I ended up where I intended to a be. A person often meets his destiny on the road he took to and avoid it. And the same way Malcolm Little or Nelson Mandela sat in their prison cells and forged their path to change the world, I feel like that room was my prison cell. Like I made some of the biggest decisions of my life behind those four walls about life, success, school, relationships. You know, it's where I wrote my first poem, where I met some of my best friends, and, and it's also where I fell in love. So essentially, it's the first chapter of my story. It's where I truly became Sully Breaks. Like something really profound happened in that place. So if you want to understand about Sully Breaks, I guess you need to understand what went on in the, in the dorm room. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my world. U-O-S-B. And I hope you're listening. And even if you ain't listening, I just hope you're hearing. And if you're hearing or listening right now, I just want you to promise me one thing. One thing, that's it. If you hear this, and you have a dream right now, I just want you to promise me that you're gonna chase it. I want you to promise me that you chase it. Whether you just finish your last shift at work or your last lecture in school, I just want you to know that you'll chase that dream. And chase it till you can't run no more and your feet hurt, but I just want you to chase it. And if they say you can't attain it, tell them that I said you can. I don't give a shit, tell them Sully Brake said so. Cause as long as I can make it, you can make it. I recorded this in a rundown flat and with dream, nothing but a dream. And I want you lot to know that as well. So as long as you got my back, I got your back. And let's chase this motherfucking dream and tell this world what we got. Welcome to the dorm room. Peace, 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 peace.
Who is it? I will not let an exam result decide my fate. What you got? Nando stamps. Full card? Yeah, full card. Look, my, my name is... I don't care what your name is. Five questions and you can leave. Come in, take a seat. Sit over there. Don't mess up my carpet either. Take your shoes off. What do you want to know? And if you came here looking for enlightenment, you came to the wrong place. So hypothetically, if I was looking for enlightenment, where would I go? You'd go and look in the mirror. Well, I guess what I wanted to know is how you felt on your first day here. You know the rules, no personal questions. Okay. What did you do on your first day of uni? <laughs> first day. Ah. Uh. UOSB. First mess is the hardest, man. Check. Sitting all alone with these pictures on my phone These pictures on my phone, just these pictures on my phone Sitting all alone with these pictures on my phone These pictures on my phone, just these pictures on my phone Swear to God it's so different, nothing how I envision These books and over revision, got me pushing back my wisdom That ain't even the half, been weeks since I went class Thinking deep if I will pass, cause none of this in my heart Cause really I was lonely, missing all my homies Fighting back tears when they will phone me uh, Three years, how can you manage? Losing all your habits, eating noodles and cabbage Feed my body with takeaway, being cool with the damage Uncle Ben's fried rice straight out of the package And the teachers were speaking a different language Falling asleep, how the fuck can I understand this? Sitting all alone Visualizing home And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone Sitting all alone Visualizing home And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone Pictures on my phone Just these pictures on my phone And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone These pictures on my phone Just these pictures on my phone And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone See these pictures on my phone Got me visualizing home To a place where I belong To a place that I call home uh, Just laying on my back Too pissed off to interact With the people in my flat Log on MSN and chat And every time that I look back I just felt like it's a trap Cause they never cut us slack When the grades and the pay we make don't match Figured out in every way it's a catch Cause all we got was horny, messy kitchen, dirty laundry Alone on the first, that was barely enough to support me Student finance, ignore me Get a call from a shorty and tell her I'll be there shortly Sitting all alone, visualising home And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone Sitting all alone, visualising home And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone Pictures on my phone, just these pictures on my phone and all my friends with just these pictures on my phone Pictures on my phone, just these pictures on my phone And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone See I'm lost in my memories But with one stroke, yeah, you're next to me See these pictures just don't lie No, they just take me back in time Cause all I got is pictures on my phone On my phone I'm all alone with these pictures on my phone See these pictures on my phone University of Sully breaks, class in session, <laughs> the irony. Let's go. So you want to get a degree. Why? Let me tell you what society will tell you. It increases your chances of getting a job, provides you with an opportunity to be successful. Your life will be a lot less stressful. Education is the key. Now let me tell you what your parents will tell you. Make me proud. It increases your chances of getting a job. Provides you with an opportunity to be successful. Your life will be a lot less stressful. Education is the key. Now let's look at the statistics. Steve Jobs. Net worth. 7 billion. R.I.P. Richard Branson. Net worth. 
4.2 billion. Oprah Winfrey, net worth 2.7 billion. Mark Zuckerberg, Henry Ford, Steven Spielberg, Bill Gates. Now here comes the coup de grace. Looking at these individuals, what's your conclusion? Neither of them in being successful ever graduated from a higher learning institution. Now some of you will protest like, you know money is only the medium by which one measures worldly success. And some of you will even have the nerve to say, I don't do it for the money. So what are you studying for? To work for a charity? Need more clarity? Let's look at the statistics. Jesus, Muhammad peace be upon him, Socrates, Malcolm X, Mother Teresa, Spielberg, Shakespeare, Beethoven, Jesse Owens, Muhammad Ali, Sean Carter, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Michael Joseph Jackson, were either of these people unsuccessful or uneducated? All I'm saying is that if there was a family tree, hard work and education would be related, but school would probably be a distant cousin. Because if education is the key, then school is the lock. Because it rarely ever develops your mind to the point where it can perceive red as green and continue to go when someone else says stop. Because as long as you follow the rules and pass the exams, you're cool. But are you aware that examiners have a checklist? And if your answer is something outside of the box, the automatic response is across. And then they claim that school expands your horizons and your visions. Well, tell that to Malcolm X who dropped out of school and is well renowned for what he learned in a prison. Proverbs 17, 16. It does a fool no good to spend money on an education. Why? Because he has no common sense. George Bush. Need I say more? Education is about inspiring one's mind, not just filling their head. And take this from me because I'm an educated man myself who only came to this realization after countless nights in the library with a can of Red Bull keeping me awake till dawn and another can in the morn, falling asleep in between piles of books which probably equated to the same amount I had spent on my rent, memorize equation, facts and dates right down to the letter, half of which I'd never remember and half of which I'd forget straight after the exam and before the start of the next semester, asking anyone if they had notes for the last lecture. I often found myself running to class just so I could find a spot on which I could rest my head and fall asleep without making a scene. Ironic, because that's the only time I ever spent in university chasing my dreams. And then after nights with a dead mind, I then find myself in the queue of half-awake student zombies waiting to hand in an assignment. Maybe that's why they called it a deadline. And then after three years of mental suppression and frustration, my proud mother didn't even turn up to my graduation now I'm not saying that school is evil and there's nothing to gain but all I'm saying is understand your motives and reassess your aims because if you want a job working for someone else then help yourself but then that would be a contradiction because you wouldn't really be helping yourself you'd be helping somebody else there's a saying which says if you don't build your dream someone else will hire you to help build theirs Redefine how you view education. Understand its true meaning. Education is not just about regurgitating facts from a book on someone else's opinion on a subject to pass an exam. Look at it. Picasso was educated in creating art. Shakespeare was educated in the art of all that was written. Colonel Harlan Sanders was educated in the art of creating Kentucky Fried Chicken. I once saw David Beckham take a free kick. I watched as the side of his Adidas sponsored boot hit the patent level of the ball at angle which caused it to travel towards the skies as though it was destined for the heavens. And then as it reached the peak of its momentum, as though it changed its mind, it switched directions. I watched as the goalkeeper froze, as though reciting to himself the laws of physics and as though his brain was negotiating with his eyes that it was indeed witnessing the spectacle of the leather swan that was swooping towards it and then reacting but only a fraction of a millisecond too late. And before the net of the goal embraced the FIFA sponsored ball as though it was the prodigal son returning home, and the country that I live in erupted into cheers, I looked at the play and thought, damn. Looking at David Beckham, there's more than one way in this world to be an educated man. gun crime in the 
knife crime. To them I still say R.I.P. But when I say R.I.P. I don't just mean rest in peace. I mean rewind it. Please, I mean rewind it. Please, I mean rewind it. Please, so we can remain in peace. Because I had to read it properly. To get it right in perspective. Because we reside in poverty. But don't want rights in property. We'd rather rob innocent people. Because he gains respect in popping me. That's a real ignorant philosophy. We need to reject its prophecy. Stand up and R.I.P. Rep it properly. Because raw its peak went from rice in peas. To rifles in pockets ruining interstate projects. Raw its apart turns to riots in parks. Rotted I impede. Remember I plead the realness I preach. We have reminders in present. Why you think the Damilola Taylor Centre, R.I.P., remains in Peckham? Rise in position, life, remember its price. Can't you say rude, but its principle, but really its pride. Ra, I preach, remember it, please, but if you don't, just remember this piece. So next time you hear me say R.I.P., know that I don't just mean rest in peace. I mean rewind it. Please, I mean rewind it. Please, I mean rewind it. Please, so we can remain in peace. Because I was raised in poverty. Where youths represent individual postcodes In true religions, Stone Island and polos Rolexes, iPhone photos Rebels in playgrounds ride in packs Till they run into popo Try stop what I wrote in parchment Run up in parliament Rules indicating policies get ripped into pieces Start up riots in precincts Cause I rhyme in poetry Regurgitate it prominently Reconstruct in pencil For my niggas that reside in prison cells I represent incomplete pavements Residents in pain Cause rent increase payments Mothers reliving indescribable pain Cause bullets ricochet into plaques Now his name only remains in plaques Realness I personify Reasoning is plummeting Ridiculous ideals prevailing And really I'm pissed So I represent it poetically Represent indefinitely, possibly To try and rectify the immediate predicament I told a wise man I'ma do this Till the revolution is publicised And rooms is packed He looked me right in the pupils And his response is Prat Are you okay? I'm fine Have you ever been in love? What? Like, you know, falling in love. Like, is there anyone in your life like you care about at the moment? A girl, a guy? There's a holy man in India called Pralid Jani. Now listen, Jani claims not to have eaten anything in 70 years. Jani was put under 24-hour surveillance by a group of scientists. And you know what their study showed? The study showed that no, Jani was true to his word. He didn't eat or drink at all. Now, hunger is a part of our genetic makeup. It's something which is essential. The average person is not Jani. So it's not impossible to live without it. But most people need food. It's essential nourishment for the body. And it's part of how we are created. You feel me? What does that have to do with love? <sighs> Forget it. <laughs> it's been right. <laughs> Makes you laugh thinking about it. You never expect to meet some people you're going to meet. It's cool though. I bet some of you fall in love so many times in uni And every time it's the same song But it's all good, it means all it wants for me And it's kinda cause Cause I never found love on a block Never found love on a spot Never found love on a canvas Who would've thought I'd find love on a campus? So will you be my campus girl? Can I call you on campus, girl? Please. Will you meet me on campus, girl? I know the world moves fast, but while it's standing still uh. Will you, 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 will you be my campus, girl? Will you, 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 will you be my campus, girl? And the way that we met is nothing like I'd expected a complete contradiction to the reality that I'd accepted You were so much different from them other girls that I'd almost slept with 
You was in the library late, probably cause of revision Me and my boys were in the library late, possibly cause we were fishing Doing nothing efficient, following our male intuition Till you walked in like an inception and changed my whole perception Cause I never found love on the block Never found love on the spot Never found love on the canvas Who would've thought I'd find love on the campus So will you be my campus girl? Can I call you on campus girl? Will you meet me on campus girl? I know the world moves fast but while it's standing still May God bless the architect who designed our library To have you sitting here right beside me God bless the architect who designed our library to have you sitting here right beside of me And your friends wanna know why you leave so late And never come back home till the dawns of break And you tell them that you're studying, dealing with the pressure When you spend the night with me, sleeping through the lecture And that's a good girl, cause you're a good girl And if they caught you all the trouble that it could spell Girls are haters, bet they wishing that they could tell That I was kissing on your hips behind the bookshelf A little secret, I know you love it No contact, when we're in public Dad must be mad, I know he sent you here to study But if he answers, just say you found a buddy uh. Cause I never found love on the block Never found love on the spot Never found love on the canvas Who would've thought I'd find love on the campus uh. So will you be my campus girl? Can I call you on campus girl? Will you meet me on campus girl? I know the world moves fast but while it's standing still uh. May God bless the architect who designed our library have you sitting here right beside of me? God bless the architect who designed our library. To have you sitting here right beside of me. So will you be my campus boy? Campus boy. Can I call you my campus boy? Campus boy. Will you be me on the campus boy? I know the world moves fast, but while it's standing still. Has a girl ever told you she loves you? It makes your knees buckle And all of a sudden you feel as though you're carrying so much responsibility Cause now I have her love I admit what no other guy would It's kinda scary Being in possession of something so great Cause I never held anything beautiful until you woke up next to me in the bed so what do I do cause I don't wanna lose you But I'm just like every other guy, don't let me confuse you And I know you just want me to be me But as someone I no longer feel comfortable to be Now that all those nights in the club and other potential loves have been slept under the rug I just wanna start anew, just me and you Let's fly somewhere where the world can't get to us To just be alone But with that thought alone There's another call on my phone And I gotta go but know that I ain't scared if it's just the two of us But please don't let this world ruin us I ain't scared if it's just the two of us But please don't let this world ruin us Abby Abby, 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 Abby
back to that, and he broke on the heart. I'm missing you, thought was a walk in the park, but when the con flips, there's conflicts. Leaving you thinking this is not what you planned in the start, have you? Have you ever listened a little bit too much? So much so she tells you about her past and how none of them ever last and how she doesn't want another light skin brother to leave her in the dark, have you? Have you ever accidentally sold a dream? Okay, not sold a dream, but you know like set a scene An idea that will stick in her mind, but she's blind Blind to the fact that this movie won't show Knowing the results of your actions may leave her hot cold And I know, I know because she paid me a picture And said she picks our souls and said she has a problem finding what she needs Told me she's given up on trying and she expects to let down So she's given up on crying but in between she enjoys the company So as she moves her wasting time I know she's wasting time Understanding loneliness could be a sentence where she could be facing life But I made this right Never did I think, how can I make this right? And now her heart's broke Calculating the time she spent on the dream she got sold And I understand I have a part to play Though I don't exactly know how you feel Because I can't relate, but I see it now It's because you wore your heart on your sleeve At first it was hard to believe For the mere fact you said you didn't You said I played my part as a thief To take your heart and then leave And that deed there left you sick and I know I shouldn't have entertained this lust I think it's something about her body partly She let her body be my party though I don't see a future in her Can you hear me? Or is my sound just off? Do they choose not to take heed? Or am I just not speaking loud enough? Is this message overlooked because it did not come with a bird attached in its foot? Or in the form of a glorious book? They didn't find this message burning in a bush, scripture or novel. Neither did it come in a bottle. This message is not a product of thousands petitioning Neither did a million men march until their feet were blistering Nor did it spurt forth from the mouth of a corpse Cause when we was young we was told the revolution would not be televised So we had to improvise So we put that shit on the net and watch it get digitalized. Right now There is a kid finishing parents evening in a heated discussion with his mother Saying Why does he have to study subjects he will never ever use in his life? And she will look at him blank eyed, stifle a sigh, think for a second and then lie. She'll say something along the lines of, you know to get a good job you need a good degree and these subjects will help you get a good degree. We never had this opportunity when I was younger. And he will reply, but you were young a long time ago, weren't you mum? And she won't respond, although what he implies makes perfect sense that society's needs would have changed since she was 16. But she will ignore him, grip his hand more sternly, then drag him to the car. But what she doesn't know, is that she didn't ignore him just to shut him up. She didn't lie because they were just returning from parents evening and an argument in the hallway would look bad on her resume. She won't lie because she just spent the last one hour convincing a stern faced teacher that she will ensure that her child studies more at home. No, she will lie simply because she does not know any better herself. Although her whole adult life, she has never used or applied Pythagoras' theorem, pathetic fallacy, and still does not know the value of X, she will rely on society to tell her that her child, who has one of the sharpest minds in the school, is hyperactive, unfocused, easily distracted, and wayward. Students, how many equations, subjects, and dates did you memorize just before an exam never to use again? How many A grades did you get which were never asked for when you applied for a job? How many times have you remembered something five minutes just after the teacher said stop writing only to receive your results one month later to realise that you were only one mark short of the top grade? Does that mean remembering five minutes earlier would have made you more qualified for a particular job? Well on the application form it would have. 
We all have different abilities, thought processes, experiences and genes. So why is a class full of individuals tested by the same means? So does that mean Sherelle thinks she's dumb because she couldn't do a couple of sums? And if this issue is not addressed properly, it then becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Then every school has the audacity to have a policy on equality. <laughs> the irony. Exams are society's methods of telling you what you're worth But you can't let society tell you what you are Cause it's the same society that tells you that abortion is wrong But then looks down on teenage parents The same society that sells products to promote natural hair, looks and smooth complexion With the model on the box half photoshopped And has fake lashes and hair extensions With pastors that preach charity but own private jets Imams that preach against greed but all fat Parents that say they want educated kids But constantly marvel at how rich Richard Branson is, governments that preach peace but endorse wars, that say they believe so much in the importance of higher education and further learning, then why increase tuition fees every single year? I believe Miss Jefferson when she took me into the office and said that my exams would be imperative to my success. Cause we was taught to always follow when Miss Jefferson led But then I took Jefferson out of the equation and learned to think for myself. I realized we was taught to always follow when Miss led. Huh the irony. Test us with tests but the finals are never final because they never prepare us for the biggest test which is survival and what I suggest is fairly outlandish so I do not expect everyone to understand this except for the kids who knows what it feels like to be worth no more than that D or that A that you get on results day and the ones whose best stories were never good enough for the English teacher because apparently you missed out key literal techniques did not follow the class plan and the language was too informal for him to understand but then he'd reference Hamlet and Macbeth and you'd fight the urge to express your contempt by partially clenching your fist with only your medius finger left protruding in the middle of your hand and then ask if he was aware that Shakespeare was known as the innovator of slang or the kid at the back of the class who thinks why am I studying something that doesn't fuel my drive but then when confronted with a maths problem his eyes come alive so this one is for my generation the ones who found what they were looking for on Google the ones who followed their dreams on Twitter pictured their future on Instagram accepted destiny on Facebook this one's for my failures and my dropouts for my unemployed graduates, my shop assistants, cleaners and cashiers with bigger dreams My self-employed entrepreneurs, my world changers and my dream chasers Cause the purpose of why I hate school but love education Was not to initiate a worldwide debate But to let them know that whether 72 or 88, 44 or 68 We will not let exam results decide our fate Peace Give me five minutes, sorry. Hurry up, I ain't got all day. No, I haven't done the assignment. It's not what we revised for. Have you finished the assessment? Like, I think we're going to have to start again on a different subject. We're on a deadline. Like, I know this is my first time, but it just... Wait, just listen to me. We need this done now. Look, you talk about success. But what if society is telling you to do something that you initially thought would make you successful, but now you realise it may not? Like, what do you do? Is that your question? No. But answering that is more important than you know. Obviously not as important because it's not your question. No, I'm afraid for you. Afraid to ask me a question. That of making the wrong decision. Like what is your motivation? Like what gives you the strength to be you? Like to know what you want to do? <laughs> motivation. That's an overrated word. No motivation. Just a list of fears and insecurities that I can't afford to succumb to, my friend. Huh? Let's play a game. You guess who used to work at The Gap? Kanye West. Guess who used to sell hot dogs at the mall? Eva Mendes. I heard President Andrew Johnson was a tailor. George Washington was a surveyor. Herbert Hoover was an engineer. Theodore Roosevelt was a rancher. And President Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer. Hugh Jackman, who plays Wolverine, was a clown. But look who's laughing now. You know what I noticed about successful people? Successful people take a course of action which coincides with their belief or passion. Put your hand up if you work a 9 to 5. 
or five to nine or just any job which you don't enjoy but takes up half your time but hopefully in a couple weeks months days years time you'll be able to come back to this video hear that first line and keep your hand down because how many times have you visualized taking a pen from the manager's desk or the one the cashier keeps behind the till the one your supervisor places it strategically in their hair or the one the security guard keeps behind his ear for extra intimidation and writing your resignation because there's nothing wrong with making an honest living but be honest are you honestly living with this mean or job which allows you just to stay afloat yes a job a job which leaves you just over broke every single month living your life just for the weekend living life just on the weekend because the other five days belong to your manager you see there's a big difference between a job and a career because in a career no matter how many hours you work you do it because it's satisfactory but in a job you do it for a salary because you're stuck in the rat race and you know being stuck in the rat race is one of the biggest of traps because as a matter of fact even if you win the rat race you're still just a rat, 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 rat. see i understand the need to have a job temporarily but pursue a career eventually because in my job i used to sell at least 200 shoes a day and none of that was ever reflected in my pay one of my colleagues once made the company five grand in one month and you know what he got an email, a £20 discount voucher and a complimentary lunch. And you think you're safe because your job is commission based. Until you've been working there for three years and the secretary with the short skirt gets a promotion because her and the boss went for dinner real late. I'm sure you can real late. But wait, uh, are we still happy with an extra week holiday and a raise in a salary? Perhaps we need more clarity let's look at the statistics because the industrial revolution was beneficial technologically but it coerced a lot of people into factories for ridiculous salaries to benefit their families and that shaped people's mentalities exponentially and essentially it became the norm to work for someone else by the turn of the century and i could have regurgitated facts and figures to support this but i choose not to boast plus that would give them nothing to write about in the huffington post now in three years I've had six jobs and that made me think that long term I could never be happy working one of these jobs and I used to have a rich uncle called Steve and they say that apple don't fall far from the tree so maybe subconsciously I was trying to get one of Steve's jobs. I understand more than anyone that a job allows you to pay the bills, make ends meet and survive. But that's exactly what it is, surviving, not living. I hope you're aware of the difference. It's like when you hear but don't listen. Because you can hear good advice, but if you don't heed it, it does no benefit to your system. The same way only knowledge with application is wisdom. I hope you're creating the distinction. Sean Corey Carter said it best. 9 to 5 is how you survive and I'm not trying to survive. So he strived hard for his dream and look where it took him. So bear that in mind next time you drive past that arena in Brooklyn. But then again, survival is the only trait that every human being has in common. And do not take this as a reason to quit your job. Go back home and stare at a computer screen. Because a government check plus idleness does not equal success. Success will not fall in your lap. In my family we have a saying. It says if you really want to grow trees, pray for rain but don't neglect to water your seeds. Chase your dreams. Because I wrote this on the back of a pay slip on the late shift, the grave shift of slave shift for makeshift wages. Google the term corporate sharecropping and you understand what I'm talking about. If somebody wants, if somebody wants to do these jobs, then let them. And from the bottom of my heart, I respect them. Because I once met a garbage man who was the happiest man that I've ever met. But don't become a slave to a paycheck. Because a job is a safe net. The condom which the system uses to screw you. And none of us would be here if everyone practiced safe sex. <laughs> Stand tall. And if you're not sure if you're building someone else's dream, maybe this will help. Jerry Jow said, you will recognize your own path when you come upon it because you will suddenly have all the energy and imagination you will ever need. And don't be afraid to innovate because it's not about how much change you make, 
but rather about how much change you make. Because a business that makes nothing but money is a poor business. So you decide what your life is worth, your passion or your paycheck. Because your playing small does not serve the world. Because what is our deepest fear? It's not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Confucius, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Peace. I once wrote a love letter to an angel. Scribbled down my feelings and emotions on an A4, about a page full. So when the postman asked for the address and told me they didn't deliver to heaven, it was painful. From that point on, at a young age, I realised reality would always stand in the way of a man attempting to fulfil his heart's desires and that the postman was a wanker and that only a fool would believe in Santa. No white man would give you something without expecting something back in return. Would you listen to my story if I told you I was just another black youth from the urban part of North London known as Wood Green but we're still hanging from the same tree by the same rope? I was a fool to believe them when they said I shouldn't waste my vote. Last year was the first and last time you see me put an X next to a party's name. Cause they increased tuition fees, four kids died from stabbings last week, and apparently Obama just buried Osama. Like I said, only a fool would believe in Santa. I write poems while working in a stockroom at work, on a phone which is supposed to be in my locker. There's a possibility I could get fired before finishing this next line. I'm just like you, sitting behind the cashier wondering what all these years of education amounted to. I know a doctor that's a cleaner, a lawyer that stacks bottles, and an accountant that works in McDonald's. Didn't you strive for that degree? Wasn't that piece of paper with a number on it supposed to change your life? The irony of what I just said made me laugh twice. Because a clever man will tell you that money is the root of all evil. But a wise man will tell you that money was created by people. And my mum would say, money can't buy you happiness, but it can help. How would she react if she found I took my degree and ripped it up? All the great men are no longer here to sit with us. So I drop knowledge on these streets and hope the youths pick it up. I never smoke weed, so who am I to disagree? Spark one up and blaze away if that's what sets you free Cause they'll tell you that it's kosher Then they attempt to dictate your life with a rotor I'm a product of a part-time shift in Sainsbury's 20 hour shift in Marks and Spencer Full time working on a construction site Only to get home and find out the council has still turned off your lights FM. 12 years in the school system 3 years in a higher learning institution 2 exclusions Being young, black and sagging your jeans Forcing your lecturers to draw conclusions American dreams, street illusions Uncles constantly asking you to send them money via Western unions Law degree Turning 23 and finding out life ain't what you thought it would be Admitting this to yourself awkwardly Mental depression Government steering the economy straight into a recession So now Lily can't get a job even though she paid attention in every flipping lesson To be or not to be is an irrelevant question I think therefore I am The world is my classroom and they want to put my people in detention I feel like a like like, Jew in Nazi Germany Under India, mean in Uganda Locked in a room in a hotel in Rwanda That's my mental state living In the slums of Great Britain That's my mental state living in the slums of Great Britain, Great Britain, and it's just like Mama keeps questioning me. Like son, when you going back to university? Mama said I did it and it weren't for me. But son, I see you struggling and it's hurting me. But Mama I see you struggling and it's hurting me. Mama keeps questioning me. Like son, when you going back to university? Mama said I did it and it weren't for me. Son, I see you struggling and it's hurting me I once received a response for a letter I sent to an angel She told me it would fallen out of the bag of a very unpleasant postman And the wind had carried it onto her porch She said its words had flattered her to tears She said she'd read it every day for the past six years I asked, six years? So why had it taken her so long to show up? She said she'd been shy 
And that as every day went by, she watched me grow more into a man who even she was not sure she was good enough for. She told me that she loved my every poem and watched every time I stepped on stage. She said she hated watching me slave away for that minimum wage. But have faith in the Lord, she said as she winked, cause it'll all be worth it one day. She said she'd continue to read my letter daily and that she was my biggest fan. But the only problem was my age. She didn't date younger men. After all, she was like two millennium older than me. But she still thought I was cute. And stopped to say one more thing before she flew away. And but I already knew what she had to say. She pointed at my letter and said, If a man truly wishes to fulfill his dreams, reality can never get in the way. If a man truly wishes to fulfill his dreams, reality can never get in the way. Leave the vouchers on the table and turn the handle upwards when you close the door. What? What do you mean you're coming? Look, I said wait for the signal. I don't think he... he... Wait, who, who are you? Hey, let me see your ID. Wait, no, 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 no. Listen, you have to get out of here. Who the hell are you? Look, I work with an organisation called Nonsrep. Nonsrep? You set me up! No, look, you have at least five minutes before... <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Officer Adu. Yes, sir. Thank you. Finally got you. The Great Sully Breaks. Not so smart now, are you? I thought we're supposed to be smart. Isn't that what you make us study for? <gasps> Men, clear the room and leave no evidence we were here. Okay, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. So, why are you telling me all this? Go back and tell the class to log onto the Matrix system and finish their cards. Are you coming back? No. I'll be off for the rest of the day. There's someone I have to go and see. Yo, this is your boy T.C. in production. Remember to keep it locked onto my YouTube page for the latest instrumentals coming out soon. Oh, damn. Check. I never intended for this to be better than the first one. I just write these letters and hope she reads them And it's days like this, I wish I could fly away Staring at the sun and I wish I could find a way Cause all my friends turned into enemies And my own family members envy me And I feel if I fail, the majority will be glad But you see, my whole life I had no other option But to pour my soul into this pad For the hopeless and for the broke kids It's like I stopped believing in God at 25 Cause I only mention him in my tweets when I need some help Or need some wealth And with every poem I give the world another piece of myself So in the end, what is left for me and my girl? That I'm in love with So what? Cause sometimes I used to stare at my budget And think fuck this And all I've ever given them was realness Even though I'm sure the world wasn't ready for me to spill this But I know for a fact that they feel this And I came from the block where we hung in a block Hot guns in our socks when we run for the cops What did they expect when they ones they reject So I fought for respect to the fans 
on my block How could I not try? Can only thank God how I got by uh, Cause I was steady sipping over vision of us living Place we were giving everything that we be wishing So I was on a mission, never needed a permission I'm the deepest in the rhythm when I'm speaking in the rhythm Swear to God they know this Put me on YouTube when the truth gets uploaded And I'm just one man Clench my fist on that one hand And pray they follow And find enough hope for them to see tomorrow And what's a dream when you be living in a nightmare? Tell the Lord to come and shine his light right here But we can make it out if we just fight fear And if it helps just play this in your ear Cause Yeah, this one's for all my freshers First semester's the hardest in terms of how lonely you feel But it gets easier, trust me <laughs> Sitting in my room and I think I'm going crazy Ain't heard from mum lately Wondering what's happening in Wood Green Hope they miss me cause I see them in my good dreams Sitting all alone with these pictures on my phone Sitting all alone with these pictures on my phone Sitting all alone with these pictures on my phone These pictures on my phone Swear to God it's so different Could've got mum to listen These books and over revision Got me pushing back my vision And that ain't even the half It's been weeks since I went class Thinking deep if I will pass None of this in my heart Cause really I was lonely Missing all my homies Fighting back tears when they will phone me Three years, how can you manage? Losing all your habits, eating noodles and cabbage Feeding our bodies with takeaway, being cool with the damage Uncle Ben's fried rice, straight out of the package And the teachers were speaking a different language Falling asleep, how the fuck can I understand this? Sitting all alone, visualizing home And all my friends were just these pictures on my phone Sitting all alone, visualizing home and all my friends were just these pictures on my phone Pictures on my phone, pi -pi pictures on my phone And all my friends were just these pictures on my phone Pictures on my phone, pi -pi pictures on my phone And all my friends were just these pictures on my phone And I would wonder if they miss me Spent nights wondering where is he Fully aware that life can get very tricky But I pray that in my heart They wish that they were here with me just laying on my back, too pissed off to interact With the people in my flat, log on MSN and chat And every time that I look back, I just felt like it's a trap Cause they never cut a slack, when the grades and the pay we make don't match Figured out in every way it's a catch Cause all we got was horny, messy kitchen, dirty laundry Alone on the first, that was barely enough to support me Get a call from a shorty and tell her I'll be there shortly Sitting all alone, visualising home and all my friends were just these pictures on my phone Sitting all alone, visualizing home And all my friends were just these pictures on my phone Pictures on my phone, pi -pi pictures on my phone And all my friends were just these pictures on my phone Pictures on my phone, pi -pi pictures on my phone And all my friends were just these pictures on my phone